Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So with this video, we are going to start a series on Karate DSL framework. It's a library which is available, which supports multiple things. It supports your uh, performance automation, web automation, API automation. You can do Selenium also. You can automate your API as well. You can mock your services. And then you can see that this is a diagram. This is the official a github.com karate labs diagram and there are multiple things this is the main core features they are web browser automation and the playwright adapter they have written they have written web driver selenium web driver adapter apm support also they started cdp tools also they have started cross browser support and then you can do api testing also uh, uh, with http apis and everything that you can automate that and then http websocket client also you can automate that and then uh, these are the optional things you can uh, mock your services you can do some performance testing gatling adapter they have given and then desktop app automation also like image processing ocr and uh, ui automation adapter native interop uh, system that you can automate that and then other than that there are multiple features they have given and it's a kind of a java api and uh, cucumber gherkin support data transformers uh, support for json xml yml proper reporting html templating and then multiple things tagging life cycle hooks a lot of things they have given over here like this and then uh, you can see the official documentation it's written karate is the only open source tool to combine api test automation mocks performance testing even ui automation into a single unified framework and it supports bdd syntax you can write your gherkin keywords just like we do it in cucumber and which is popularized by cucumber is a language neutral and easy for even non-programmers so you don't need to be a programmer we don't need to write any specific uh, complex code over here you just need to maintain feature files and then write your scenarios and features over there and assert it and then start writing your automation and then get the report like that and see assertion and html reports are inbuilt and you can run test in the parallel also to improve the speed and performance so this is the example that they have given you see there is no code simple hit the url and which post method pass the body and everything and then status code and then you can validate that so we will see these number of examples and it supports uh, almost all the different build automation as well so we are going to talk about the maven different libraries client request response assert libraries they have given so it's a huge documentation you can go through it and then these are the different uh, features are available first of all that you don't need to learn about java java knowledge is not required even non programmers also can write the test now this is something very interesting and then you don't need to maintain any java code or any libraries or any generic function method or any client that you don't need to do that simple uh, configure karate and then start using it okay and there are various features are available like ideal for testing the highly dynamic response from graphql also they support support for json xml cucumber scenarios outline tables and they support uh, you know assertion capabilities they have given multiple things they have given over here and you can see that's a huge list parallel execution and then test report and a lot of lot of things they have given cross browser web ui automation that you have given they have also supported that and then um, uh, you know invoke a java api mix karate into java projects you can in fact uh, legacy automation suite also that you have and then you can invoke your existing java apis as well lot of things that they have given api mocking also you can do that maintain your own state and then across multiple calls you can do that microservices calling also you can perform here and then comprehensive support for different flavors of http calls like either it is so based xml http ssl and then a uh, proxy server web sockets browser like cookie handling retry until condition web socket support as i told you a lot of good things they have given and there's a huge documentation guys you can just go through it and then how to configure different features and everything so uh, let's today one thing let's in the first session what we do we will configure we will be using eclipse you can use exactly same thing in intellij as well so what we have to do in eclipse you simple go to file and then you have to create a maven project so let's create a simple maven project so select the project from here and uh, go to maven and then select the maven project and click on next okay and then you have to give a nice name 
uh, first of all you have to search for a filter that which group id artifact id of maven that you are looking for you simply write maven and you write maven archetype actually and then you write quick start here this is the suggestion that you have to select the version is 1.4 it could be any version but make sure this is the group id and the artifact id you have to select and then after that you click on next and then you give a nice group id for example let's see i am giving that uh, com dot uh, naveen automation labs that uh, karate and then i'm writing this is my karate youtube okay uh, i'll write it like this karate youtube <coughs> practice and then you click on finish so here you will see that karate youtube practice got created over here this project i cannot zoom in guys please try to adjust that and you open your pomod xml file under this pomod xml file first of all that you change these to maven compiler source and target version to 1.8 okay and make sure that okay java is already installed on your system then only you can work with that and i don't need the j unit dependency like this so i'll be adding the karate dependency so we have to add two important dependency for karate one is karate apache api so that is use a search for karate apache maven project simple come over here and uh, click on 0.9.6 you can add karate uh, core api also but i'm going to use this one so simple copy this dependency from here and uh, you simple paste it here okay and then after that you simple save it and then the next dependency you have to add karate j unit 4 or 5 it's totally up to you so let's see i'm going to use karate j unit 5 dependency so write karate j unit 5 maven dependency so come over here and then this is the rc one so better i'll take 1.1.0 here that also i can take it so let's me just take this one karate j unit 5 dependency i'm just going to take it and then save it and then press ctrl shift f and then save it so it will download all the dependencies and everything and then you can see that uh, under maven dependency section all the karate apache jar and everything is added over here okay it means your project is ready now what you do under src main java under SSC test java these are the uh, packages you can just delete that we will create our own packages so simple delete that delete this package also we will create our own packages so under src test java what you have to do is you have to create let's see uh, feature files because karate supports feature files and everything so we have to write everything inside the feature file dot feature file that we have to create the way we used to do it in in cucumber framework so what you just need to do is that right click on it and let's create a uh, let's create a package over here and the map package name is let's see i'm going to create these are my uh, features and under this particular feature let's say i'm going to create a sample feature file today so simply click on file and then you have to create a for example hello dot feature or something but see this carefully you need one more plugin here or you need one supportive add-on on eclipse which will support the uh, feature file format and color coding and everything so what you just need to do is that you go to help and then click on eclipse marketplace okay so i think it's ready so what do you just simple write you write uh cucumber hyphen eclipse and you search for that and here you will see cucumber eclipse plugin which is already available on my system see it is already installed in your case it is showing that uninstall or uh, you have to install it so it will be enabled for you and just click on it and then click on next 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 install now next and then you have to accept the license agreement and then click on finish and then it might ask you to restart your eclipse just restart that okay i'm not going to download it it's uh, you know simple cancel it this cucumber eclipse plugin will help you to uh, design the feature files it will give the proper color coding formatting and everything so i'm just going to cancel it <clears throat> okay after that what you do is that uh, right click on your project and simple go to just do a maven update project just if any dependency or any other configurations are missing maven will update the project here like this here you can see that see that is updating the project here and then uh, when this is uh, done then we are good to go okay after that what you do you go to the features and then right click on it and now you create a new file here for example let's see i'm going to create a new file 
this is let's see my sample dot uh, feature file let's write a very basic feature file today see the sample dot feature and when you create a sample dot feature this plugin that we have downloaded it will give you one sample the feature file sample over here where we have to write the features scenarios given when then and multiple things that we have to use that i'm just going to select all and delete it i'm going to create my own features so let's see the first very basic feature that i'm going to use with the help of feature keyword see i'm not writing any java code let's see my feature name is that uh, print hello world i just want to print hello world this is my hello world feature okay and what is a scenario so every feature can have multiple scenarios so i'm going to write a scenario over here make sure s capital colon and let's see your scenario name is that uh let's see i'll write hello world uh, scenario whatever the name a plain english that you can write it okay then you put one tab space over here like this and then put a star here and then what exactly you want to print is so a simple write print and then in single code let's see i want to print hello world like this and then that's it just save it so what exactly it will do it will just behave like system dot or print talent and then the hello world will be printed on the console so i'll do a right click on it and simple go to run as cucumber feature so you can uh, run as cucumber feature later on we will see that how to create cucumber runners and everything but right now let's run it with the cucumber feature and then you simple run it and here you will see uh, something got executed and let's see uh, the hello world is getting printed on the console or not so here you can see one print statement hello world is getting printed here you can see that perfect and it's saying okay yeah this is your feature file path and giving some block uh, logs here and it's saying okay hey this is the html report so we will see this html report as well and it's saying you are using the karate version 0.9.6 and then you have a uh, number of features are one you have only one scenario and that it's got passed over here like this and then the html report it's saying paste into browser to view you simply copy this html report the complete path from here to here and what you do you just simply open your any favorite browser and then paste it and then launch it so this is the cucumber report you will be getting it and you simply click on you can see one test one got passed this is the execution time click on this particular feature file one test got passed here and it's saying we are printing print hello world and then it's giving you print hello world log over here like this let's do one more thing let's see in the next line i'm going to write print something else i'm writing okay fine that is hello a Naveen automation labs something like this that I'm writing and then right click on it and let's run it again run as cucumber feature and then again you can see that okay yeah one test one got passed and here you can see hello world on the console and hello Naveen automation labs is also getting printed on the console and you just come here and refresh this particular file and here you can see print hello world which is getting printed and print hello automation labs and both are coming in the green color which means absolutely working fine and this is your a scenario name here like this i mean you can see this is my scenario name like this and see this carefully it's saying point number one and number two it means one and two and same thing exactly same thing you can check it over here that there are two prints available here like this okay and then how much time it took that is also mentioned over here like this perfect now what if i want to create some more scenarios so let's say i'm just going to create one more scenario here so what you do is that you can create another scenario like this let's see i want to print some variable how to create a variable how to declare a variable so let's see my scenario name is that uh, uh, declare and print variables so i'm not writing any api code right now let's see how to declare and print the variable so always remember whenever you want to declare any variable what you do is that put a star or let's say i'll just in a new line put a strict like this and then you have to use def keyword to define the scenario for example let's say i want to write that um, uh, total okay let's see uh, some balance is the scenario balance is equal to 200 that is what i have written and then again i'm writing one more a uh, variable here let's see the fee which is equal to 20 and then i'm writing okay fine then again one more text which is equal to 10 perfect and then i'm going to print 
just like system dot printlin so again i'm going to write that okay fine that i want to print what with a string so i'll write that okay this is your total amount like this for example let's say i want to print like this and then concatenated operator plus i'm going to write balance plus i'm going to write a fee plus and then i'm going to write the text over here like this okay so let's see is it really working or not so in that case i can do one thing let's say i'm just printing the balance 200 20 and 10 and let's run it and let's see is it really giving you the total amount 200 plus 20 plus 10 or it's giving you the concatenated string so let's see so i'm running it and here you can see two test cases got passed over here and here you will see that it's a proper concatenation so it is just like a string concatenation will work like this it's not giving you 230 here see this is a concatenation that you are getting it so what is the problem the problem here is that we have to put this thing in a bracket over here like this and then once again you run it so let's run it and let's see so this time what is happening so this time let's see the output the output is correctly printed now total amount is 230 here like this so here like this you can define the variables you can do some arithmetic operations like that and then same thing will be reflected over here as well refresh this and then this is a scenario number two the scenario number two is that declare and the print variables and then uh, see this is the variable uh, balance and then fee then text and then finally we are printing the amount which is 230 over here like this okay so like this you can simply uh, define the variables and all such things as well amazing so we will see in the next chapter that how to define some other scenarios like if what if i want to print a json object what if i want to call the api what if i want to call the get call post call put delete call and everything and authentication a lot of good things that we are going to cover in this series please set up this please try to uh, play with the feature file create multiple scenarios see if i really want to create one more scenario that also you can do that so a single feature file can have multiple uh, scenarios like that and then we will create multiple feature files and combine them together in the runner file and then we will run the runner file with the help of cucumber runners so for example let's say let's create one more scenario so declare and print variables instead of that i'll simply say that okay this is my okay and uh, let's see i'm declaring a variable a and then i'm creating a variable b and then i'm writing that okay fine the multiplication is equal to what and let's forget about this third variable so i'll write the multiply the multiplication is what the multiplication is equal to a multiply by b so for multiplication what we have to do we have to write a multiply by b over here like this so let's see this is is picking or not so let's run it and let's see so here you can see that uh, this time three scenarios are there you can see zero failed and here it's giving you 200 multiplied by 20 and the same thing will be reflected so it will add one more a calculator scenario here like this simple very very simple very straightforward and these are the three scenarios listing and see the logging and this is the auto generated inbuilt uh, html result file is available and then a lot of other things we will be doing tagging and summary and all such thing later on okay guys so please uh, try to play with that let me know if you have any issues if you're not able to configure it very straightforward and then start using karate and then in the next chapter, I'll tell you how to automate certain APIs and all such things. So thank you so much. I hope you will be learning a lot of good things with this series. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.